Okay, hello. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am so excited to talk about blues. Hi, Heidi. My nails have just base coat on them. Um, so this is my nourishing base coat. I just did one coat and I'm just going to take it off and then we're going to talk about blues and I'm so excited. Um, let me know what color is on your nails. I always love to, I don't know, get some inspiration. Hey, Jen. Hey, Janine. I'm so excited to talk about blues. I adore them. Let us know um, what color you're wearing. You can describe it to us or tell us the name, whatever you prefer. I'm taking off. I just have base coat on. Um, I had time earlier this week to do some filing and shaping, but not to uh, do my nails. So <laughs> I didn't do them. A dark purple. Nice. Love it. I'm really excited to wear a blue. I haven't decided. I think I'm going to do MOTN or maybe Jostler, but I haven't decided. <gasps> Yes! Janine is wearing the orange from the fall collection, Dracaris. Love it. I predicted that that one was going to be the best seller, and I haven't pulled the data in a couple days, but I don't think it was. I think I was wrong, which, you know, that happens. Um, but I love that one. Good. Have you um, gotten your tracking information? Do you know when it's going to get to you, Jen? I'm so curious. Okay. All right. All done. Um, the other exciting thing today is that I got my new packaging. Ooh, Stardust. What a good one. That's so fun. Um, I updated my boxes because I kind of adjusted my colors um, last fall. And oh, got it. Okay. Perfect. Well, I might have packed it today, and you might get your tracking number tomorrow, because I packed, um, I think through Monday, today, but it won't get picked up till tomorrow, so you, I didn't send out tracking numbers until they get picked up, so hopefully you'll get it soon, Jen. Yeah, this is my new box. I love it. It's just, like, a little bit cleaner. Um, I should have grabbed one of the old ones to show a comparison, but I don't know where it is, but I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I think it's so cute. It's a slightly different um, stock. Um, which I really like. It's still fully recycled, but it's just, um, it's like a little bit less shiny, which I like. And then it's a little cleaner. The back is easier to read. Yeah, I love it so much. They're so cute. Um, and I saw the woman who designed them for me, um, sometimes goes to the gym that I go to. And so I saw her this morning, which was so fun. And I said, oh my gosh, they're coming today. Yeah, I can't wait to use them yeah, thank you. I really like them a lot. Um, like, honestly, more than I expected to. I thought I was like, oh, they're not that different from my old box, but I just feel like the changes she made are really sleek. Um, and I love this purple with the green. I just love it. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, okay, let's talk about some blues. So I did bring in, um, this one's actually not a blue, this is Gratitude, um, but which is a really deep purple, but I just wanted to show it to you next to you some blues because I feel like it's helpful to see like how purple it is. Um, I have gotten some questions about this one about like whether it's too purple or too black you know like where it falls on the line so I thought that would be helpful to see but let's talk about blues. Okay if you just joined us and you haven't told us yet um, let us know what color you're wearing because I always like to see what people are wearing. Um, so the three creams that we're going to look at tonight are Jostler, Signature, and MOTN. This one was from the fall collection last year. This one was winter. Jostler is actually from my first ever fall collection, and I just restocked it um, with this year's fall collection. So it just came back out of retirement um, a couple weeks ago. A week ago. <laughs> one week ago. Um, and I'm really excited because they're all three very lovely takes on a nice deep blue. And then I'm also going to show you Reflection, which was also in last year's winter collection. It's not a cream. It is a blue, like a, I'm going to call it a dark navy blue base with that, I think you can see it, the royal blue shimmer. Um, this one's lovely. And so I'm going to show you those four. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. 
I'm so excited. Jostler, I was really excited to bring back. And I'm glad it's here. It was the winner. I had um, my email list got to vote on which color they wanted to see come back from retirement. And Jostler was the winner. And I was so glad because I love it so much. Yeah, right? The nice, like, moody blues. Here for it. Love it. It's so good. It's so good. I'm glad to have it back active so I can talk about it again. Okay, and then this is going to be MOTN. MOTN um, stands for Middle of the Night. This collection was all about kind of being a new parent, and I spent a lot of time <laughs> in the middle of the night uh, awake doing things. So that's what this one is inspired by, are those kind of twilight hours um, and the idea that you know, you kind of feel alone when you're up in the middle of the night with your kid, but there's parents all over the world who are up with their kids at that hour. So this one is Signature. And this one I just love. It's kind of like Jostler's darker cousin, I would say. Like it has a similar base to Jostler. Um, it's kind of that like peacocky blue but I just, I love it so much, so. Yes. All right, so it sounds like we had some kind of neutrals. Some people were wearing, I think we heard a white sparkly and then um, stardust, which is like a rose gold metallic. I think you could call that a neutral, right? So kind of a, kind of a spread of colors tonight, which is really fun. Okay, and this one is Reflection. So this one is, again, not a cream. This one has the royal blue shimmer in it, and it's more of a... Oh, I gotta, made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Um, it's more of a jelly, because you want to be able to see that shimmer. Um, but look at those lovely navies. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it's good that I'm doing a comparison of these because I feel like these are four that at first glance definitely look very similar. So hopefully this will help somebody pick the best navy. Okay, I'm going to go with my second coat. I think I'm going to wear Jostler. I was undecided. Um, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to wear, but I think Jostler is the one I want to wear. It's just like so good for fall. It's probably the lightest of these four, um, and it's not quite a teal, but it has that, like, green kind of peacock blue, which I think is lovely. Adore it. Yes. Okay, and then this is MOTN. I think of MOTN as, like, your classic navy. Like, this one's a little bit, you know, on the purple side. Um, it's kind of like the classic navy blue. If you have tried any of these and you have a favorite, let us know which one is your favorite. We have kind of one vote for Jostler so far. This is Signature. Oh my gosh, love, 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 love. And then I'm going to do my second coat of Reflection. Yes. Okay, I feel like now in two coats I can really see that shimmer in there. Let's see if it's coming through on here. You never know what you're going to get on the phone sometimes. Sometimes it's great and sometimes it's medium. Let me turn this over. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, where is my... find my cleanup brush which I should have pulled out before we started and I'm just gonna clean up my little pinky here but look at these four blues 
if you had to vote for me, which one do you think I should wear this week? I'm leaning towards Jostler, but um, I could be swayed. I feel like I could totally be swayed. So let me know which one you would wear. The pinky, you like reflection? Yeah, it's nice and sparkly. We don't hate our sparkly one. It's probably the deepest of the four as well, because um, it has that nice, really deep blue base, which is so fun. All right, clean it up a little bit. Okay. Signature, you like the deeper one? Nice. Yep, good choice, good choice. Okay, so these four, we have three creams and then reflection. There you go. Now you can see that shimmer. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It is, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll wear that one. But I think, I think I'm feeling more cream. A navy that announces that it's blue. <laughs> I love that. What a fun way to describe that. Which of these do you feel like fits that category? Just this pinky one? Um, okay, so here are the four that we're looking at. These are four lovely deep blues. Jostler is a little bit of that kind of teal peacock blue. It has a little bit of a green undertone. This is MOTN, which is kind of that classic navy blue. It has that almost uh, purple undertone. And then Signature has a little bit more of a green undertone. It's a little bit more of that peacocky blue, kind of like Jostler. Um, and a little bit deeper. It's the deepest of the three creams here. And then Reflection is not a cream. Reflection is a lovely navy blue base packed with that royal blue shimmer. Um, so you get a little bit of that glow. And it's lovely. So these are these four. Reflection says, I'm blue. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the royal blue really helps. Blue, it's a good, I feel like blue is such a good color especially like deeper ones like this is so good for, for fall. I just love it. Um, okay. I'm going to wear Jostler because it just restocked. And so I haven't worn it in a long time because I usually, I just only wear the ones that are in stock usually because I, I, I just like talking about the one. I don't like talking about the ones that are out of stock. Um, so now that Jostler is back from retirement, I am going to wear this one. And then, um, I agree with you, Jen. Reflection is so lovely. So I'm probably going to Put this one at the top of the list to wear soon. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do Jostler. I'm gonna do Jostler. I'm gonna stick with my original thought. Um, and I wanted to bring this one back, not only because I love it and because it was a winner, but I put it into contention to see if people were excited about it because there wasn't a blue in my fall collection and I have had very few, right? This is my fall collection this year, um, no blue. And I've had very few collections without a blue. So I thought bringing back one of my retired blues um, was a good way to kind of, you know, close that gap a little bit. So I'm excited that Jostler's back. Um, the other one that's back is Current. Here we go. Um, and Calla Lily, which is not a fall color, but um, Current also came back. So these two are back in stock. Um, they're back from retirement, which I'm really excited about because I think they both add something different from what I launched this year um, in my fall collection. So excited to be able to kind of widen what's available. And now I'm gonna take off these four, oh my gosh. But like, I could just wear a blue Skittle. I feel like that would be lovely. Um, and then we'll put on some Jostler. Yeah, they're so good, Heidi. Heidi loves all of them. I feel like it's hard to pick a favorite when it comes to blues like this. I just think that they're, I don't know, they're perfect. They're almost like a neutral, right? Like I feel like you can wear a navy kind of all any time. It goes with anything, any circumstance, any environment. It's navy's a neutral, right? There we go. Okay, 
reflection. Um, okay, let's see. Almost done. All right, if you're joining us and you weren't here at the beginning, let me know what you're wearing on your nails. You can tell us, describe the color or tell us what it's called, whatever you want. Um, I always love getting inspiration from from people. We had a really big day today. So um, Wednesdays, I don't work during the day. Uh, I'm with my son and we went to the zoo um, and we've been to the zoo a ton because we live really close to a zoo, um, like 10 minutes away. So we, you know, got a membership and oh my gosh, we use it so much because um, we'll go just for like, you know, an hour, an hour and a half because um, we have a membership. That makes sense. If you're paying for a full ticket, that doesn't make sense. But um, it's like 10 minutes from our house. So we went this afternoon and we hadn't been in, in a while because we actually let our membership lapse at the beginning of the summer. We just had a lot going on. So we figured we'll renew it, you know, once things calm down. And um, so I went today and we renewed it. And I, kids just change so fast. Like my son was so just like excited and engaged and had fun. Like he knew the names of so many of the animals and what sounds they make. And it just, he was just having so much fun. It was it was just a blast. <laughs> we really loved it. And they have a new butterfly house that just opened. Um, and so we got to see the butterflies and he watched an older kid, probably like 12, um, like stand very, very still and let a butterfly land on their finger. Um, and he thought it was so cool, <laughs> but then he just like ran around the butterfly house for 10 minutes with his hand out, trying to get them to land on him. And they obviously that was not what they wanted. Um, and he wasn't, you know, like disturbing them or hurting them or anything, but they just, um, would just kind of fly away from him. They had no interest in landing on his one and a half year old hand outstretched running around. Um, but it was so sweet. It was just, he had a blast. It was really fun. Yep. And I don't know. It's just fun to do things with him, you know, more than once because you can really see the change right you can see how much he's learning and growing and oh it's cool it's a wild ride it's a wild ride yeah it was very cute <laughs> and then he was so excited to come home and tell his dad all about it yeah it's a great i mean i don't know they do good work and you know having a membership makes it so easy to go um it feels like it's free even though you know obviously it's not really free <laughs> but when you've paid for a membership when you go well, it feels like it's free so yeah it's really fun honestly when he was really little it was just like a way for us to go take a walk somewhere that was not like our neighborhood <laughs> because we did a lot of walks in our neighborhood and I needed a little bit of a break okay here's Jostler I feel like usually when I do the thumb my first thumb, I know if I made the right choice. Yeah, they're great, yeah. Yeah, memberships are great, especially when they're young. Their stamina is just not that much, right? We're not gonna go spend the whole day at the zoo. Um, and so having a membership means that we can just like go for a little bit, go for as long as he has, as long as the snacks last. Okay, does this happen to anybody else? I feel like sometimes when I paint my nails, um, the first thumb, I like, I know whether or not I chose the right color. You know, I put it on and I'm like, yes, this is what I wanted or nope, not what I wanted. And I'll start all over again. Um, I feel like I usually know pretty quick and, uh, I love this one. I feel like I made the right choice. I made the right choice. This is Jostler, if you missed that part. This is one of our navy blue creams. It's not really a navy, but it's a nice deep blue. It's like a really, really deep teal, but closer to navy than teal, I would say. I adore this one. If you just joined us and you haven't told us yet, let us know what kind of color you're wearing on your nails. Are you wearing a like a fall color? Are you wearing a neutral? 
Um, it's always fun to hear what other people are wearing. I spent most of Monday working on spring, um, working on our spring collection for 2025. So I feel like it feels so good to be wearing a fall color because I was, um, I had like a skittle of a bunch of spring colors on <laughs> earlier this week and didn't feel right, didn't feel right. So, okay, so I'm gonna do my second coat here. Oh, sorry, my second hand. Similar to Jostler, but a green version. Um, like something that's like a deep teal, but on the green side? Is that kind of what you mean, Jen? Or you just mean like how, gr how green is Jostler compared to the others? Yeah, let me see. I can pull a green. I don't know that it's super similar to Jostler, but I can pull a green to just give you a point of comparison. Is that what you're looking for? Just like a point of reference? Yeah. Um... Well, here, I'll show you. Here's Olive. Um, which is not teal, but it's green. And Jostler definitely looks blue. And I'll show you it next to Signature. Um, and then this is Lantern. Which is kind of more like a muted green. Yeah. Does that help? Give it a a little bit of a um, point of reference, maybe. Oh, Becky, good question. So this is um, this is not my nourishing base coat. This is a new base coat that I'm developing. But when I started this live, um, I was wearing just the nourishing base coat on its own, um, just one coat, and it's, it gives you a little bit more kind of color than this um but it's definitely still really sheer and looks like your nails um but you'll be able to see when i post this live you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like um on its own because i was wearing nourishing base coat all by itself at the beginning of this live oh like borealis is a good question um here we go Yeah, it's pretty blue. It's really blue. My Borealis has like major ugly bottle syndrome. Um, yeah, maybe that helps. See how blue it is. It is definitely blue. Yeah, Becky, I'm glad to help. Glad to help. Hey, Denise. Um, Becky, some people, if they want just like the sheer look they will do the base coat in like two coats um and you get a little bit more coverage um if you're just gonna wear it on its on its own and you just kind of want that like sheer look all right so i just shared a reel about this yesterday or mm, sometime this week um when i'm painting my other hand i try to kind of leave my hand as stable as I can and I turn the nail on my dominant hand because I have more control over that one. I'm left-handed so this is my dominant hand and I kind of move the that nail rather than move my non-dominant hand with the brush in it. So I'll try and show you that again in a second. Um, but I'm curious if anybody else has any tips about painting your dominant hand, so painting with your other hand. So I feel like that is the thing that you know, people who are just trying to get started painting their nails often say is the hardest. Okay, so here is the second coat of Jostler. And I feel like it's pretty opaque in one coat, um, but I always do too. But if you were in like a super rush, this is probably one that you could do in just one if you needed to. So on this hand, I'm painting with my dominant hand. And I'm gonna mostly, I'm gonna move the brush more than I'm gonna move the finger that I'm painting, right? Cause I have a lot more dexterity and a lot more control with that hand. So I'm gonna use that dexterity to move the brush much more than I'm gonna move my hand that's on the table. And I kind of do the opposite 
when I'm painting the other hand. Um, but if you have any tips, drop them in the chat or in the comments if you're watching later, because um, I feel like people are always looking for those tips. So. Oh, so, okay, interesting, just one at a time. Yep, I feel like I maybe started doing that and then I don't know, who knows why I stopped. This just works better for me, but that's fun. That makes sense, Denise. Oh, that's interesting. But you weren't, Heidi, you weren't aware of that um, before. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel like we just kind of develop our, Heidi's saying that she does, does what I do. Um, and I feel like we just kind of develop, you know, when you practice something, you just like figure out the technique that works for you. Um, but it's helpful to hear what other people do so you can test it and say, okay, do I want to be like Denise and elevate my hand? Do I want to be like Walker and Heidi and move my fingers? You know, you'll figure it out. That's so funny. Yeah. You have to test different strategies. Okay, so I'm not really going to move the brush very much. I'm going to move my finger um, that I'm painting to kind of help. And that way I just kind of have to get, you know, the brush in one spot. And you can't really see it, but my hand, I'm holding it like this the whole time. Like my, the bottom of my hand is totally <laughs> cemented to the table because I just need it to be as stable as possible. So I'm going into my second coat. I didn't really wait between coats, you'll notice. Um, I mean, I was chatting a little bit, but I kind of just go from one to the other. And that's because I'm doing pretty thin coats. And so they dry really fast. Um, and the polish is nice and opaque. So you can do thin coats and they build up in two coats. Um, but I, I don't really wait because they dry pretty fast. And I'm going to use a quick dry top coat, which helps it dry too. Okay, so here's my last one. This is Jostler. I definitely made the right decision. It's also reminding me that I need to I need to call my friend who this polish is inspired by because we haven't chatted in a while. It's been a while, but she has two kids. And I have one kid and a business, which is kind of like having a kid in some ways. Um, so I'm excited. We gotta catch up with her. But this is Jostler. Oh, I adore it so much. I feel like it's coming across darker on camera I don't know you're losing some of the green I think um but I'll definitely post some in my stories tomorrow in the sunlight and in not nighttime lighting um okay so this is my quick dry top coat I talk about this all the time but you can apply this wet in fact I highly encourage you to apply it apply it wet while your nails are wet so I have not let this dry it's if I put my finger in it it would definitely leave a fingerprint and I'm just gonna put the top coat right on top. And it's a pretty, I'm, pu I'm putting very little pressure, right? If you kind of drag the top coat through, you're gonna get transfer onto your top coat brush, but I'm doing very little pressure. And again, those thin coats are drying pretty fast. So it's like tacky, but not wet. Um, and I just try to kind of let the formula self level so I don't really have to push it around too much or drag it too much. And yeah. Okay, if you just joined us, I'm gonna say this a hundred times and you haven't um, told us yet, let us know what you're wearing, what kind of a color it is. You can tell us the name or just describe it um, because I always love to know what people are wearing. So good. I'm putting on Jostler and now I'm doing my top coat. This is my last step. Actually, it's not gonna be my last step. I'm gonna show you my last, last step. Oh, I was off camera, y'all. I'm like somewhat good at this, but not perfect. Okay, here we go. Top coat. Top coat makes everything better. Any like areas that aren't perfectly smooth, it just smooths everything out. I adore it. Uh, 
Um, I've been posting the replays of these videos over to YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, hi! Um, but I feel like that's where I go to watch long-form content, and so I don't know why it took me like a year <laughs> to decide that I should do that. Um, because I don't love watching watching long form content on Instagram. I like that, you know, on YouTube it's easier to skip ahead or, you know, have a faster playing speed or whatever. Um, so I watch longer form videos on on Insta on YouTube, not on Instagram. So um, if you're watching on YouTube, hi and thank you. Okay, so that was quick dry top coat, and I wore I painted Jostler so good. This one just uh, came back from retirement and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Yeah, it was in my first ever fall collection. So let's see, that, that first collection was Jostler and Olive, which are both still here, still alive, still active. Alive, oh my gosh, that's dramatic. Um, Foliage, which came back last year. In the summer, I brought that one back. So Foliage, Olive, Jostler. What else is in that first collection that I'm missing here? Um, I don't think I have them in front of me. Bengal Spice, which is still retired. Um, oh my gosh. Foliage, Olive, Jostler, Bengal Spice, Patterson, um, which just retired a couple weeks ago. It just sold out, but that one is on my short list to come back next fall because I just, I love that color. I want to wear it every year. Here's Patterson. This was kind of this like, um, I don't know, almost like primary collection. Um, and I, yeah, I love this one. I love this one. Different from this year's collection, which also had an orange, um, but much bolder. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love this color and I can't wait to show you what it looks like um, in the sunlight tomorrow. So I hope you have a wonderful night. And if you are painting your nails, hope it goes smoothly. Um, and that you love the color you choose. Okay, bye everybody.